Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, call your friend, call your sister, call your brother, call your cousin, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you to do. I support you in doing that. I pray that you set with your higher self so that you know what messages are resonating for you and what's not for you. Please leave that for somebody else to take. Nine times out of ten, though, if you're new to the channel, just be prepared that there's a 99.9% .9 chance that Spirit's going to have a message here for you. There's a very high probability that it's likely, it's very likely that there's a message here for you or somebody that you're wondering about. Now here, I will give you a heads up. This is a very, 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 very specific love message. If you're new to the channel, I mean, get used to it. This is just how we roll with the energy. But listen, that could have been a little bit too much on our first introduction. Okay, But we don't worry about those things. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I love you. You love me. I am here. You are there. Thank you for your love, your good prayers, and your donations. I am praying for you, giving to you. You're giving to me, and it is beautiful. And I thank you for allowing me to be here for the Divine Collective to help you guys with these messages. Listen. Video one was Dear Lover, okay? A Divine Masculine Story. There's a Divine Feminine out here somewhere, an Empress, that's feeling this pull, this intuition. I'm getting High Priestess energy. I don't know why I channeled this message so deep. But video number one, I had to sit back, take a deep breath and sip a little bit of water and get myself together because I was like, why am I channeling this energy so deep? So I suggest that you watch the first video first if you haven't already and then come back to this one. This is the other side of the story. This is the divine feminine that this masculine is crying out to. Okay, I saw a real passionate connection in this divine union i've already called in my appropriate protection i pray that you've done the same they both are really thinking about each other and it's a really intense energy listen archangel michael by way of permission of the most high god please show me this part i cannot make it up y'all the lovers is here i gotta compose myself because i can see this story real clear for these two people the lovers is here this is so deep this love this is her story. You saw me shuffle the cards, my friend. These people had a passionate connection. Something happened. I'm hearing once in a lifetime. This is what she's saying. Now you heard his story. Ooh, chow. This is like the young and the restless. And I don't even watch soap operas because reality is too good. <laughs> There's too much going on in reality to be caught up in some type of an illusion. Oh, this is her side of the story. What does she want to say? I'm just getting so much deep affection. What does she want to say? Oh, my God. She's got love for this person. Knight of Cups is here. That's emotions. It's weighing her down, being apart from this person. Lord, have mercy. Oh my goodness what is this about why do they have to be so frustrated listen this is a divine union the higher fun is here these people are already married in the 5d and above but here lies the the uh, slight spiritual dilemma there are other divine masculines looking at this empress yeah they're coming in with offers the knight of pentacles oh my god show me show me this divine feminine spirit <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> somebody could be getting a little choked up literally <clears throat> because that cough came out of nowhere listen <laughs> this person is choked up over this connection this is her energy the high priestess is here oh my god what type of a union was this did y'all manifest it was magical y'all saw me shuffle these cards this is the divine feminine's love story, dear lover. Why are you going to put me in the middle? What type of magic? I hear her saying it was magical. Yeah. But something was coming in between them. I'm getting circumstances for her. Why is the three of cups here? Why is the three of cups here? Yep, I'm getting circumstances. Three of cups is um, interference. 
maybe trying to gain some type of stability. This person was on their path, though. They are a star. This high priestess could have a public platform. Girl, what is going on around here? I get so excited when I hear the love stories. They're so cute. But it's kind of sad because he's not expressing to her how he feels, but she's not expressing either. There's so much divinity around this union. It's very spiritually protected. The Ace of Pentacles is like, woo, this is a gift. The Hierophant, the star. This person wants to take another leap of faith with this divine masculine. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, it was circumstantial. I'm getting a lot of missed communication. A lot of things said in text message that should have been said over the phone. Okay. Oh, this is this is your emperor, child. <laughs> so excited i dropped the card listen this is your empress i mean your emperor empress this is your emperor this person is your divine lover your divine match this came up on the other reading as well and remember let me tell you how funny this is in the divine masculine reading i use the red cards the red cards are right here these are the yellow for the feminine and the same exact cards are coming out listen these two lovers are mirroring one another so deeply, deeply embedded in their souls and their minds. It's just a beautiful union. He's saying, you are mine. I am yours. Why are you playing? What are you doing? And you ended up closing out a cycle. This could have been circumstantial, though. Something with stability, finances. Maybe you had to move. I'm getting the world is a distance. Somebody had to get on a plane and leave. The sun is here. This person says, you are my wish fulfillment. Yeah, the, listen, day and night, night and day, this person thinks about you. This is swords. Four, see my four, 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 four. four. They both saying four, 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 one, 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 two, two, two. Spirit is talking to them. This is a divine union. Four is very significant. Yeah, this, this, this high priestess knows everything. She knows. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Every tear that he's crying, she feels it. And they're not in communique. They're not at least picking up the phone. They're definitely in 5D and above communique. The world, I mean the world. Ooh, the world is here too though. This is them being at a distance. The moon is, she intuitively knows that this is her masculine. He's coming up as a king of wands. Very sexy, very confident, very, I can have anybody that I want. But I want you. I have options. I absolutely do. Yes, this is true. But he's saying you have options as well. And she's saying, I want you. Okay. Three of Cups. She could be in a new union. So like I said in the last video, this person feels as though now he's the third party. And he's trying to win her back. He's hoping. You know what he thinks about? Is it how somebody's making love to her if she's intimate with somebody. But I think they both touched each other's spirits so deeply that I don't think that there's any love making that can compare to this. If anything, they're still closing out something to do with some karma. They could be getting rid of some karmic lovers, just kind of lingering around. But ultimately, their hearts are with one another. It's a beautiful love story. Why? Because the Empress just came out. And the Empress is already on the board. This person is saying, you are my divine match. Listen, I cannot make it up. This is part two to that first story about the divine masculine. Listen, I need to rewind the date. Get out of here if you haven't watched that first one. I'm telling you, they go together. Like like peanut butter and jelly, I heard. Listen, they're both weighed down. They could be feeling physical pain from being apart. This is such a serious soul connection. The Empress is here. The Empress here is a divine match. And she knows that who he is. She's grateful for ever being able to even have that one encounter. But now he feels as though he's getting breadcrumbed by her. <sighs> She's saying nobody compares to you. Oh my God. Even if she is in some type of situation with a third party or whatever it is, it looks like it's solely for stability. I'm not even lying. I don't even believe they're being intimate. The hermit means that she's going within. She's really staying to herself a lot. She's staying to herself a lot. Whoever this empress is, Lord, this is so deep. 
Yeah, there's definitely some type of interference energetically with people knowing that you two are supposed to come together. Okay, this person is being very reserved. The hermit is here. It's giving me virgin energy. She could be celibate, just purifying herself. Just really purifying herself. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. This person wants to be with you. This person wants a life with you. You both are marrying each other. If you look at the other video, this is damn near exact to the same cards that I pulled with the red card. Hi, la, 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 la. <sighs> Not being together is creating this friction. The Five of Wands. This is what's so funny. She's very reserved as well. She's the keeper of secrets. She could do tarot. She pulled cards on this man. Let me tell you why. The Empress, the Hierophant, and the High Priestess, she knows that this King of Wands is her love of her life. She knows it. She knows that she thrusted him into an ascension. And he thrusted her into an ascension. This could have been after a, a serious karmic cycle to where they both took each other by surprise. She said, take me back to that night, that one night. I cannot make it up. She's coming up as the King of Cups. He came up as a king of cups. She's saying, I, 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 I don't even think they both, even though they're spiritually ascended to the capacity and the level that they are, I don't think the both of them can rationalize this energy. It just is, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, listen, they're cutting off people. They're cutting off the past. The king of cups represents a deep, passionate love, deep, deep, deep connection. These people want a new beginning with one another. Yeah, she's coming up as the same energy as him, the two of cups. They're marrying each other. I've, I've seen twins mirror each other, but not to this capacity. Not, not, not to this capacity. She's in a lot of regret that she didn't give this a little bit more breathing room. Something happened. I don't know if, like I said, she felt abandoned by this person. She felt as if there was a, another third party. This person could have been also not communicating circumstances as well. Yeah. This person could have, yeah. She thinks about them being together intimately a lot. <laughs> the sun is saying the light is the truth in a way. This is joy for them. They know they need to be together, but they know that they have to do something in the physical, which is like, yeah, communicate. They're both marrying each other and they're both manifesting each other. But but she feels as though she tried to manifest him back and it didn't happen the way she thought. So she feels as though she was forced to move on. This high priestess is thinking that this is a failed plan. You know, why would I meet the person that I want, that I've manifested, that I know is the one for me and lose them all at the same time? She's saying, take me back to that night. There's a lot of sadness around her, but she's very strong and wise. Listen, death is here. She had to walk away from it in order to save herself because not only that, she came up as the star. There's something that she's doing in the public eye. I'm getting podcasts, radio stations, something like that. Ace of Pentacles is the helping hand of the most high. This is divinity. Yeah, they want to, they want to sail to calmer waters, the both of them mutually. She's trying her best to be strong. She doesn't know how to talk to him because he's a little, uh, yeah this is a divine union okay king of cups came out the queen of cups will probably come out next the empress and the emperor is here just like the last spread with the red cards listen the king and queen of wands is a divine match together these people i mean judgment's been called on the relationship Okay, the angels are calling judgment. The ancestors are calling judgment, saying that this has to happen. What do we need to do in the universal realm? They need the both of them to move their feet. Show me this high priestess. What's the outcome? Yeah, she wants him too. These are the same cards I just pulled from the red deck. I just cleansed these cards. This is fresh energy. Oh my God. She's in, they're both mourning the loss of one another, but they really want one another. I feel as though this is circumstantial distance maybe she made a move now where she's not in close proximity to this person yeah i told you i can't make it up the chariot is here she moved away 
It was circumstantial though. Something with stability. Yeah. Something is, is, is going to balance itself out. Show me what the divine ancestors are saying. Yeah, listen. They're both. This normally would be like in my head, eight of wands. They're both like, I want to say not trapped in each other, but they are. Because they're one soul. They're really divinely connected in a way that they cannot separate from one another. And this is what the, this is what's giving them both anxiety. Because they're saying, what if this never comes to, to fruition? They're being tested by spirit and the divine universe. Wow. Whoa, this is what happened, high priestess. Girl, tell me more. Yeah, death is here. This high priestess has gone through several transformations. Okay, this person could have just up and left with the chariot moving forward. Sneaky and deceptive. It feels as though she, she just got out of Dodge. She did it in a really quiet way. She didn't say she was leaving. She did, but maybe he didn't believe her. And now, and now they're both just really stressed out about not being together. Wow, this is a really interesting story. Okay. Working, working really hard, whoever she is. She's working, working really hard. Hold on, y'all. Something happened with my cheer here. I just got to get balanced. But yeah, listen, she's working really hard. Whatever she's doing, it's a toil and labor. She really fought hard. Okay. They could be going back and forth. I don't feel there's arguing, but somebody did reach out to somebody else like, look, this is ridiculous. This masculine only likes to communicate in the 5D. He feels as though it's their safe space. It's a safe haven. Yeah. He prays for her. He fights for her. She fights for him. The strength card is here to be strong. He's calling for her. There's my bird outside. Angels are saying this is the truth. Ace of Swords is the truth. He's pulling at her. He's also having a, has a plan. He feels left out in the cold. He could be going through something financial too, to where he needs to bring this back. But he feels mostly this is uh, being left out in the, in the cold because this fell on top of the Eight of Pentacles. So he could be working to gain his finances, resources, because I feel as though this was circumstantial. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for this masculine? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this feminine, they both feel left out in the cold by each other. Yeah. They both are really afraid that this is not going to come into fruition. But like I always say, you have to come with your higher self. You said with your higher self, my lovers, my friends, you will not be in the five of cups because this is your divine man. This is your divine woman. You have to be together. I'm pulling for the both of you. It's too much energy here. I'm telling you, this is a youthful love. This lovemaking is something that y'all both think about constantly. It's like replaying every single detail. It's like, meet me in our memory and I'll meet you there. And I kid you not, you can feel him and he can feel you. But the reality is, in reality, you're not together. And the Ten of Wands is a weighing down energy. It's very stressful. Because this person now wants to see you. So there could be some type of conflict. This person also feels as though they're fighting over you in the spirit realm with other suitors that are coming in just as equally high vibrational. But it is the same for you. Yeah. This person has been in hermit mode. This high priestess has been in hermit mode. She's going within so she doesn't have to go without. It's a purification. Virgo energy. Yeah. The five of swords represents conflict. Could be mental conflict between how to get back to this situation and how to do it. Yeah, it's under judgment. Judgment represented here is balancing out the energies, getting your fair share. You put out good, you get good. You put out bad, you get bad. It's a balance. Six of Pentacles represents equal give and take with me, you, spirit, and the universe. The Most High is presiding over this case. It's a very intense energy, and I should have done this with the red cards for the first video, but let's do it here. What does this person want to say? This person says, I need you, but it's in a very codependent type of a way, which I don't believe that they like to feel codependent. Whoever this man is, they're very machismo. I know this high priestess, this empress feels very codependent. 
they both came up out of karmic cycles, like feeling that way, like they've healed from that is what I feel. And the fact that they need each other is quite overwhelming. Who am I talking to? Yeah, tell me, tell me what this feminine wants to say. Oh, this masculine said, I need you. This, this feminine could have a choice between two as well. Or three or four. I don't know, but I see her in hermit mode. I see her being celibate, but she's definitely getting people that are inquiring about her. This says intensity. The feelings I have for you overwhelm me, so I run away to process them. This is so freaking intense. This is what this masculine is saying. My life, oh God, he says I'm struggling. He could be going through something that he wants to communicate to you. Wow. I'm just getting miscommunication and circumstances. You know, outside circumstances. Respect. You deserve the best and I respect you. And I want to do the right thing. This is what this is what.